Hello, I'm Dr. Jayachandra, working as a senior pulmonologist in care hospitals, Banjara Hills. Now, the question asked is, how do you detect tuberculosis? What are the investigations that one would require to diagnose this particular disease? As mentioned earlier, 80 to 90 percent of the cases of tuberculosis involve the lung. So the production or the symptoms of this disease are cough with phlegm, you could have fever, you could have uh, different manifestations uh, like, you know, weight loss and you start sweating at night and so on and so forth. So how do you investigate? The simplest thing that we normally ask for is to get a chest x-ray. That usually becomes the starting point to see what the problem is due to. Do you take the x-ray on the first day of cough? The answer is obviously no. So the common way of looking at it is a cough which does not settle down in about two to three weeks of conventional treatment taken at home does not improve, then you go in for a chest x-ray. Now, supposing you find that the chest x-ray is abnormal, then you definitely, when you're thinking of tuberculosis, you're going to think of sputum examination. Sputum, particularly when you cough out that phlegm early in the morning, that usually gives the best results. So you examine the sputum with the microscope to look for tuberculosis organism. Now these days we have more sophisticated ways of looking for this particular organism or say the genetic material of this organism. So you have what is called as a CBNAT, what is also called a gene expert. So what you do is you give a specimen of sputum and it is processed to look for any genetic material of the tuberculosis organism and that usually shows up. Other ancillary investigations would be to get a blood picture. Commonly people ask for an ESR. Well, all these things are supportive, but the only confirmatory test for tuberculosis is demonstrating that particular organism in the sputum. Now, supposing you find that tuberculosis is suspected in a person with a what we call as glands in the chest, that is mediastinal adenopathy. These are cases which require some specialized investigations, like you may ask for a CT scan to delineate these glands. You can also do an endoscopy. You can go in and do a bronchoscopy and an endoscopy through, the, I mean, a endobronchial ultrasound with the help of a bronchoscope and sample the glands by a needle. This is called as an ebus. TBNA. Or sometimes, if patients are unable to bring out any phlegm, so what you do is you put in a small bronchoscope inside, go to the area which is involved on the chest x-ray, wash that area and send it for analysis, either gene analysis or by way of a sputum examination to determine what it is. And primarily, as I mentioned earlier, Apart from diagnosis of tuberculosis, we also screen for diabetes, you have to screen for HIV, and you have to screen for other diseases which may have reduced his immunity, and also look at his nutritional status to see whether that requires any support from the outside while you are treating his tuberculosis. Thank you.